good job. It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So we're gonna check out WWE top 20 moments. The fans silence the superstars. We're gonna check this video out, man. I think it's gonna be a good one. We all know when it comes to WWE fans and how vocal they can be, they can take over a promo segment. I've seen it so many times where the wrestlers trying to convey a message. And they damn near can't convey it because the crowd is taking over the segment. So we're going to check this out. Appreciate all the love and support. Roll to 60K and let's get right into it. Uh -oh. Right here. They took over the segment. Just <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually glad that you've given me the opportunity. <laughs> and I will always be very sorry that the entire that was it, huh? America <laughs> back at home, heck, all over the world. If it were done in the United States. Yep. Tony, you son of a bitch. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that's a that's a classic one. Anytime Sean had went to like uh, Canada, looking for a new phone system for your didn't business? even matter With if it was Toronto or wherever it was at. Searching for the best business phone Sean was gonna get booed, even if he was portrayed to be a face. Confusing. He was gonna get booed, this is especially around that time, because people very at that they still hadn't really kind of gotten over the whole "you screw Brett" situation, which I understand. Fans were very vocal about it. Exactly. Trademark raucous crowd. Oh wow. Nothing brings us real classy New York. Real classy. <laughs> it's been amazing. Oh. This segment here just, just they did not care for Jason. And they were faces at the time and it didn't matter. Seth couldn't save him. They did not care for Jason Jordan, man. Upcoming title offense, but Oh, man. I want to take a moment to say it is uh, here in your presence. And, and in fact, to be in the press, thank you for all of your continued support. What all of you say, my dad <laughs> really doesn't suck. Bro, look at Seth Rollins' face. He wasn't even a heel at that time. Seth Rollins' face is just. Damn. Damn, bro. They, they hate you. God damn. <laughs> That whole dad storyline with with um with Kurt Angle as being his estranged father or something, bro, that shit was dumb. We live in the age where all people have to do is Google. What? <laughs> just Google up information. Like, what are you talking about? Duck. In fact, if we could all just stand up, come on, get my dad. You suck. <laughs> <laughs> Vince is such an ass he's going along with it y'all heard that CM Punk chant and CM Punk had been gone for a while at this point oh man oh man it's so good to have CM Punk back in wrestling This Sunday at <laughs> this. I think this is when he turned on uh, uh, Enzo. At this point, he was he was going heel. He turned on Enzo. Sunday at <laughs> this Sunday at summer. <laughs> this Sunday at SummerSlam. This Sunday at SummerSlam. <laughs> Bro, the booze. I came back apology. And normally 
I'm a, I'm a happy person. It's really hard to be happy right now. And your posts, I got a lot of texts. I don't know who's booing. I'm thanking everybody who tweeted me. <laughs> I don't know who's booing. But I think at this point, her good girl gimmick was kind of getting tiresome. And people were just like, bro, people were starting to turn on her. It was like, yo, we don't care. <laughs> That's literally what was happening. From the WWE Universe. <laughs> Put a smile on my face and look forward to coming back. Get your ass out of here. The lowest form of scum. <laughs> oh, man. One of the most rowdiest crowds in WWE history. Don't at me. This is all facts. Oh, my God. Your mother got me out. We're going to make sure. Having a basketball team in Seattle. Listen to the roar of this crowd. <laughs> Look. Oklahoma City. Now I get that. That's how you oh, get good heel heat. Really upset them here, but uh, I said, you know what else is in my favor? <laughs> Ignore all of you the way you deserve to be ignored. I don't want to look at these people. Turn the lights back up. The most important thing. I'm not a joke. I'm the WWE. I don't care what no one said, bro. CM Punk was over at this time. Don't at me. He was more over than our truth in the Miz. It's facts. You cancel that match. After being assaulted by one of the baddest women in the And by God, I did make that. <laughs> may I pay the please have a little respect for Stephanie McMahon. Boo! <laughs> I remember that. Dog and pony show. Who the? Where's that coming? Up there. Do something. Do something. <laughs> Do something. Do something. Love it. Do we have to listen to this? And what happened? You guys get the Fuck king up. of <laughs> hardcore and big show appropriate. Bro, this crowd is great. And JBL's just Go enjoying it. The authority just had to rain on. <laughs> oh, brother. Give me one of those nights. I'm not going to step in this ring, Daniel Bryan. You're not going to get in the ring. This was such a good moment. He's rubbing it in the authority's face. The crowd was white hot. He was on top of the world. Daniel Bryan was the most over thing in the wrestling world at the time. This was a good segment. The ring. Hold on just a second. Yes! 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 <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo! The hate for Roman. It wasn't my night. Congrats, man. I'm happy for you. I don't care what y'all say. This is my boy, and I'm happy. Really, any, anyone listening, any species, but I love uh, all of you. I think this is recent. I think J.K. Uh, Logan that came out there, they, they just, they booed this man. I mean, legitimately gave him get off my TV heat. And I love the WWE, bro. Thank you for the... Well, oh my god. I'm gonna put Floyd Mayweather on my highlight reel, slap him up a little bit, punch him in the face. What round is your brother getting knocked out in? I wish, I wish he would have got knocked out, but he didn't. He survived. If you haven't seen my video talking about Jake Paul and his boxing career, uh, definitely go check it out. But yeah, he survived, man. And, uh, you know, the Paul brothers are on top of the, the boxing world. Logan <laughs> lasted eight, I don't know how many rounds with Floyd. And Jake is undefeated in his professional boxing career. Uh, the world we live in now. 2021. I'm going to let y'all do your thing. I'm actually, I'm going I'm to leave. Booze.
<laughs> You're a loser. It's a machine gun, Kelly. Oh. Oh. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Belongs to you. They do the see this is around the time they'll do the CM Punk chants just to let you know they don't like what's in the ring. They rather see CM Punk and CM Punk was still long gone. Ladies and gentlemen. Yep, of course this is gonna be up there. Because Brett the Inside And that was such a troll. They played this music, people thought he was coming back. And he didn't. Sean just knew how to get the heat going, bro. A WW. They were not. They were not having it. This was the moment they should have turned him heel. Right after WrestleMania, right after Roman had beat The Undertaker, we thought The Undertaker had retired. He starts off the show with probably some of the most nuclear heat I have ever heard. It's up there. It's up there. Nuclear, I hate you, heat. Get off my screen, heat. You're like, people legitimately did not want to hear anything Roman had to say. And I loved it. He should have turned heel. Just imagine, y'all. I know I'm sopping a little bit more than I normally do. But imagine if he would have turned heel right. Right then and here. Right at this moment. Imagine. People would legitimately have a reason. He could be like, yo. I retired that old man. It was his time to go. He's done in the WWE. It's my yard now. This is my place. I dominate this place. I don't give a damn about any one of you because you guys turned your back on me for the very last time. I'm going to do things how I want to do them. If you got a problem with it, so what? None of you people can do anything about it. I took the Undertaker and I put him where he deserves. In the ground for good. I, bro, that's all you had to do. And they, oh, instant star. People would have been like, yes, finally, he's a heel. And the crowd would have hated him for it. He could have kept bringing it up every time he comes out there. Brock may have beat the undefeated streak, but he didn't retire the Undertaker like I did. Oh, man. Oh, my God. It would have been so great. Listen to this. Anytime he was about to talk, they booed him. He didn't say anything for like 15 minutes damn near. <laughs> Couldn't say nothing. This is my yard. Yep. Now. That's all he said. And it, it, oh my God. I really wish they would have did that. Really wish they would have pulled the trigger on that. Comment down below. Let me know what other videos you guys want me to check out. If it's wrestling related, boxing related, UFC related, or, you know, anything sports related. Let me know down below. I'll definitely check it out for you guys. Appreciate all the love and support. Road to 60K. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.